Hi there, welcome to my second packing video. If you haven't watched the first packing video, click below and you can watch me pack for five weeks. I went to Europe last April and I only took a backpack and a carry-on. I got so many questions from you on different topics that I want to answer in this video about the packing and I am going to use a completely different luggage for my trip to Japan. I'm going to Japan tomorrow for three weeks and I am hoping not to check in luggage. So I'm going to be taking this new e-bags. It is the Motherload Wheeled Duffel 21 inch carry-on and it's in a perfect um, guidelines of taking it on airplanes. And then I'm going to take my old Patagonia messenger bag as my carry-on. All right, so I'll put this here. So the purpose of this video is mainly to answer your questions and to pack everything in a completely different bag and to give you additional tips. And also the reason I'm taking this is because I noticed that carrying the backpack, as some of my commenters told me, was a little heavy on my back. So this is wheeled obviously, which means the luggage weighs a little bit more. So you have less to pack to stay within the guidelines, but that's okay because you carry it and uh, you don't have to carry it on your back. So let's start and uh, go quickly through everything. I'm basically gonna pack right here with you. I haven't packed and used this luggage before, so we're gonna do it together. And my intent is to take everything here in these two bags. So we'll see if that works. Are you ready? And I am Farnoosh Brock. I'm the founder of Prolific Living, and I'm pretty excited to pack with you for my trip to Japan. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you do, as you know from my other video, is that you set aside your airplane clothes. I am going to Japan, it's now between the 30s and 50s. It's late, uh, late uh, winter, early spring. So it will be cold, but not too cold. And we're going to the mountains, but only for a few days. So I am taking my nice walking echo shoes. I don't have big hiking shoes, so this is what I'm taking. Um, I'm walking in them. And then um, a scarf, um, my, I have, a specific airplane clothes, right? So these pants, I never wear them anywhere except on airplane. They're Patagonia, they have a pocket for my iPhone and they're stretchy and wonderful. So these are my airplane pants and um, a bra and a t-shirt that just to wear on the airplane and my thick layer. So that's it, these are my airplane clothes. I am not taking a jacket, I'm hoping to buy one when I get there. So. Now let's open my luggage and see what we're working with. How do I open it? Here we go. Okay, so there is a compartment right here which we're going to, to fill later and we're gonna open it. It's got a nice orange interior and we're gonna start. So this is my purse. I always pack my purse. So this is gonna go in a little bit later. I'm gonna start with shoes. So. I am taking, in addition to my walking echo shoes, I'm taking these very, very nice slip-ons. These are key shoes, I am in love with them. And I am going to actually pack my socks right in here. And then, is that all my socks? Yeah. And then I will put them in my little shoe bags. And uh, you guys asked me where I got these. I do not remember where I picked these shoe bags, but if you look up on Amazon, you can find a lot of similar uh, shoe bags like it. It's really just a, a, little, um, a little ordinary bag. Okay, so I try to put these on the side of my luggage. Now I might have to find the best arrangement. Okay, perfect. The other shoes I'm taking are these tiny little dress shoes. They're very light, very flat, and they weigh hardly anything. But sometimes you just want a little dress shoe. So here we go. And these go back in here. All right, so there is a divider here that comes off, I think. I think I'm gonna decide for now to leave it in. All right, so I also want to use um, packing cubes. I have two of them and I've never used them. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start rolling my clothes, which is how I uh, put them in the suitcase. You always want to roll them. So we're gonna start with my tops. So I'm taking one, two, three, four, five, 
six tops. Uh, this one is pretty ordinary, but most of my uh, neutral color tops are from uh, um, Uniqlo, which is actually headquartered in Japan. And um, they are in just very, very earth colors. So we are gonna roll these guys and let's see. I'm gonna make room here, so hopefully you can still see. So I'm gonna put these, roll them as tight as possible. And this is a little turtleneck just in case it gets cold. But these are really my initial layers. So I like to dress in layers because it's so much easier than just carrying a thick, heavy uh, sweater. So works out so much better. Okay. So here we go. Okay, I think I can use a lot more in this packing cube. So I'm going to put my skirt. I have one skirt that I'm taking just in case I feel like I want to dress up. So, okay. And I don't even know, the packing cube will probably go in one of those compartments. Okay, and I'm taking one nice shirt, a nice red shirt. And um, let's see, one more shirt. This is my, um, just a nice uh, comfortable shirt to wear around the hotel. Okay. And maybe a couple of more, a casual t-shirt and another long sleeve shirt. Okay, so I'm gonna try to see how this works. Let's see. There's still room here. I will do one more. This is a tank top. Let's see if it fits perfectly in there. Yes. Okay, and then maybe one more shirt here. This is my uh, yoga top. I think it's a starting to get full. Okay, so this is the idea for packing cubes. Now, where does it go? You know what? I think I'm gonna take out my divider because it's taking up room and I don't really know the purpose. So, we are gonna put this packing cube right here. Okay, put my shoes in front of it. And it can actually even get smaller. All right, good. Now I am not gonna put my pants in packing cubes. So I'm just gonna roll them. I really want to take my skinny jeans. So it's gonna be a little heavier than ordinary jeans. I mean, or ordinary pants, but it's worth it. Okay, so. Just always roll your clothes. If you're worried about wrinkling them, I have found that's not a problem, especially with uh, the type of clothes that I'm taking. So think about taking the type of clothes that um, are wrinkle resistant. It really makes your life easier. So here we go. And uh, you were very curious about some of the brand names for the clothes that I'm taking. So I will list all the brands in the, in the comment section below if you're curious. These are a pair of Be Present pants and they're sort of like yoga pants or, or just um, hanging out in the hotel pants. They're not terribly nice to wear out. Okay. And then I have a couple of these um, sort of like um, nicer tops that I can wear over the layers that I put in here. And this is a Columbia shirt, Columbia top. So we're gonna do the rolling just as well for these guys. And things are looking like it's already filling up. So let's see. Um, how do I do this? This one has a hood, so it's a little bit tricky. So we're gonna do this and this. Just do your best, really. It's not um, a science. Okay, here we go. All right, so now I'm gonna look at my yoga clothes. So I do as much yoga as I can, and I'm only taking one top, one regular top, one sports top, one pair of shorts, and, um, and another. So this one may have to wait because I could just wash this one after, after doing my yoga and, and be okay with it because it's so small. So this is my little bra 
and my yoga top. This is my second packing cube. It's a little tiny and um, I have another pair of tiny little pants for sleeping. And then let's see. So maybe I will put this in there because I think I have room. So I, I, will, I know I'm going to use them a lot. So this is another. So I have two yoga pants. One is short, one is taller. So be thinking about your workout routine. If you're going somewhere and, and you like running, take a couple of running clothes. So let's see. I have room still in this little packing cube. So I'm going to try to do one of my little cardigans, my little tops, into this packing cube. Let's see if it goes in. This is actually very light, very soft, so it shouldn't take up a lot of room. We'll see. Okay. So let's see. Let's close this packing cube. Okay. Not too bad. Although there is a little bit of room here and I'm going to put my, I have gloves and a warm headband because the mountains can get a little bit cold. So I will just put them in there. So wherever you find little room to sneak your little clothes in, don't, um, don't underestimate it, right? See, there is room all the way at the back of this packing cube. Oops. And what else? Um, maybe I'll put my scarves in there too. You know what? I think I will. I was going to put my scarves in a little extra bag, but I think I'm just going to put them in there. So I'm taking a couple of scarves to dress up my very plain clothes. All right. Um, let me see. Oh yeah, there is plenty of room in here. I'm actually quite impressed with these packing cubes. Here we go. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. So now the question is, will this still close? Oh yeah, plenty of room. Um, I have one black cardigan. I always have a black cardigan. It goes with everything and it looks very nice. So this will hopefully keep me warm. Okay. And I have this other very light one. I think the question you want to ask yourself is, am I really going to use this as much as I think? And I'm going to go for it because I have room. I don't want to pack this to, a, to, the, to the brim. I want to bring back some, um, some souvenirs. And in fact, I have an extra bag in case I buy a lot of souvenirs. So there is an extra bag, but um, I still have plenty of room. All right, so this is all of my underwear, one pair of pantyhose, and one sports bra. So this is going to go, is it going to go in here? I think it will. There is a little zipper top here. Let's see. Come on. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, maybe not. We'll take it back out. This is what I mean. I've never used this. So actually this will go in here. So that's good. And then some of my toiletries, such as my glasses and my deodorant, will go right in here. And my brush that can go in here. And let's see. Um, so I am not taking a DSLR camera. I do have one and I love it. In fact, it's recording our video right now, but I am not taking it because I just don't want to carry it around all the time. So this is my camera. I'm using my iPhone camera and I am taking a little tripod my Gorilla tripod. So I'm happy with this. If you need to pack your camera, obviously you're going to need to make room. I'm sure you could make room here, but you will have to take less clothes. So that's the answer to one of the questions I got. All right, this is going to go in there. So the, the underwear is giving me a little bit of a hard time and I may have to just put it in here and see if I can still, where are my, oh yeah, there is no straps that come in here this way, which is fine. So I'm going to put this in here and we are, oh yeah, my two, uh, two jackets. Okay. So I have a nice Uniqlo rain jacket, which, uh, it's very funky, but it basically packs into itself. Hopefully it will do it just right. And, um, I'm taking this in case it gets rainy, obviously, because I never carry an umbrella. Um, as in, I don't take umbrella from home to another country. That's just 
that's just unnecessary weight. Okay, so this is my little rain jacket. Okay, so this is gonna go in here. And then my favorite uh, Uniqlo hoodie jacket, which you zip it up, zip it up, and then you fold it. Where's my little bag? There we go. So they come in a little bag, and that's how you take it. And um, it is surprisingly warm for the lightweight that it is. And I don't really like heavy jackets because they make me just feel so big. So I'm all for layering and clothes that are very efficient. So here we go. Perfect. Okay, so this is gonna go in here, right? Somewhere in here. Okay, this looks like I have overpacked a little bit, but if it doesn't look that way when we close it up, so let's close it up. And in fact, let's see. Okay, it closes up just fine. Um, has it been expanded? I believe it has because you can see here. So I'm going to try not to expand it because I don't want to expand it on my way out. I may expand it on the way home, but I definitely don't want to use to use it. So I'm actually closing this and it's not going to close all the way. So let's see. Oh yeah, it is. So I haven't packed all that much. Okay, so it's nice and tighter. So I haven't put everything yet. So these are my bras. They are going to go in the top compartment. Why not? So you just put them like this. So here we go. Nice little bag. And that goes in here. Perfect. And then this little bag has to go in there. And then I don't know if I'm going to have room for my yoga mat. So we'll see. Let me, let me do my... Uh, bag. This is my little bagalini purse. Rainproof. Wonderful. It's not as fancy as a Prada or a Gucci that I'm sure everyone is going to have in Japan, but that's okay. I'm happy with my little purse. Okay, so here we go. And um, that is that. Okay, everything else is going to go in there. I'll show you that in a minute. So we don't have room for my yoga mat, which I wonder if it can go in here. Okay, so I can use the same trick I used last time. And this is a very thin yoga mat. So it hardly weighs anything and it shouldn't be very big. So I'm gonna try to roll it all the way. I really don't like going anywhere without a yoga mat. So I'm gonna strap it right here. Let's see. Okay, come on, okay. All right, and then this side. Now, what I was thinking to myself is, um, if they make me gate check it, that's okay too. But this is definitely within the limits of uh, ca carrying it onto the airplane. So I believe this is all we have for here. Let's stand it up. And later I'm going to weigh it and let you know how much it weighs. So right now, we're gonna put this down. All right, so I'm gonna pack my messenger bag. So my Patagonia messenger bag is, uh, it's got a perfect padding here for my laptop. So that's gonna go in here and it's gonna clip over it. So I do not take physical books on planes. I read physical books, but I put all the books I want to read here because they are extra weight that you don't need. I also don't take guidebooks. So anything that you need, you can find it on the internet. So if you're short for space, there is something you can sacrifice. So my Kindle is always coming with me. That goes in here. And uh, my pocketbook, my um, contact case, uh, extra contacts, not contact case. Um, my jewelry bag, this is my bagalini with all these little compartments so you can put all your jewelry. And that goes very close to you. So you wanna put that in your, in your personal item sunglasses which may go in here okay that's perfect or maybe that's a little stretch so maybe they go in here because they don't need to go with me no we have packed this too much okay never mind they will go here which is fine so then we have my makeup so I wear makeup I like makeup I take my makeup and um, this is actually something that's um, a good bit of weight, but um, 
it is coming. Okay, and that is the rest of my makeup, which goes in here. So if you don't have that, you have plenty of room. Uh, my tripod can definitely go in here. Perfect. And, um, okay, no, that can't, okay. This is a little uh, cotton towel that I always carry because I don't like to use the towels when I, you know, wash my face after a long flight. And um, cables. So my headset will have to go with me, but my other cables can go in here. In fact, there is an extra zipper on the very top, so I can put these guys in here, here, and here. Perfect. And you want to remember where you put your essentials. So try to remember as you're packing, where did you put your contact lenses? Where did you put your, your cable? So my cables are here. Excellent. And my toiletries bag, I decided I'm not even going to take shampoo and conditioner anymore. Every hotel has it. I used to carry it all the time and it would take up room here. So now this is the absolute essentials. And I am taking essential oils with me on this trip. So this company called doTERRA has um, sent me some samples and I love essential oils because if nothing else, they just make me feel good when I use them. So I have peppermint, breathe and lavender. And the lavender, these are perfectly fine to put on your skin. The lavender I use as a perfume because I'm not taking perfume with me. And breathe is meant if you're coming down with something. And peppermint is really good just to, to lift the mood. So these are gonna go in here because they're liquids and they're tiny little bottles. So if you, if you have some essential oils with you, they might come in handy. Okay, this is my extra eyeshadow. So I know it's a lot of makeup, but it's gonna go. And these are, I'm still deciding whether I'm gonna take them on this trip, but these are from Toss and Travel. So this is a company that basically helps you with taking as little uh, skincare as possible. So these are little packets that you can use and toss. And um, I have traveled without putting them in my toiletries bag. And they have never shown up on the, um, on the security belt but you, you really have to put them in here. So I may decide to put these in here. I don't know yet. So those, that's out, um, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about it, but they are fabulous if you don't want to take a lot of lo body lotion with you. So you could use these. Um, a little emergency lipstick, eye drops, um, business cards, and that's my little tag. And, that, and then my, my iPhone which is always gonna be with me. So let's close this up. All right. So we did it again. I'm so excited. So let's see. Okay. So after the video, I weighed this luggage for you and this is the weight right here, okay? So depending on where you are traveling, in some of the European airlines, they have very strict guidelines. You may not be able to take this on the airplane. They may make you gate check it. But in the US and uh, British Airways and the Asian airlines that I am traveling, this is perfectly fine. So this is a nice wheeled luggage. So I am not gonna have to carry it on my back. And it's e-bags, love e-bags, great company. And my Patagonia and my clothes that I'm gonna wear. And I think we got everything. So there, we did a second packing video and I hope I gave you more ideas on how to pack light, how to take as little as possible, try not to check in luggage and still look stylish. The next packing video, I am going to unpack my husband's suitcase because a lot of you have asked me to show you how to pack as a guy without checking in luggage. And he's a pretty big guy, so he has bigger clothes than me, and um, I'm gonna show you how he packs. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube video below, and let me know if you have any questions, and I will answer them in the comments. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.